Over the past few months, I have really gotten into the Danganronpa games and enjoyed them quite a lot. But the reason I got interested in the games to begin with was hearing about the anime. Though I decided to go with the games because I heard they are quite a bit better. Though after liking the game, I was curious how it would feel about the anime. Though my expectations weren't that high based off everything I had seen. So for those who are not familiar with the series, it's about these high school students who are trapped in their school where they have to play a killing game. In order for a student to escape, they must kill another student without being found out by the survivors. If they succeed, they escape and then everyone else is killed that was left behind. But if they are found out, then they are the one who is executed. So the overall story focuses a lot on solving the murders, but also on the greater mystery of the school. Overall, I liked the game story quite a lot, with all the different mysteries stacked on top of each other, and the characters were really enduring as well. I did a review of the game itself a few weeks ago, so go check that out if you want my full thoughts on the game. Moving on to the anime though, despite having a good source material, the anime had a lot going against it from the start. Mainly its length. The game has around 30 hours of gameplay, and that is leaving out a lot of the optional side conversations which flesh out a lot of the characters. So cramming all this into only 12 episodes means they had to cut out a lot. Though to be fair, they kept the overall story beats in place as best they could, but everything felt really rushed. For example, after each murder, a new floor of the school is unlocked, which the students explore looking for hints about what's going on. During the game, this takes up a good amount of time with each room offering some information or some clues or just something interesting. In the anime though, most of the rooms just glossed over without any focus given to them. The investigations for the trials were also very glossed over as well. When a murder happens, it's announced and then the characters have some time to investigate to try to find all the clues to piece together what happened. What makes this interesting in the game is that every piece has some reason to be in there and you get to try to figure out how it fit into the overall murder. With the anime though, you get the evidence so quickly you don't know what it's even showing you, so it's impossible to put any of these pieces together. And then the trials are also rushed. There's no longer the slowly building the picture of what happened as in the game, which pushes the mystery. And then lastly, the characters just are not fleshed out well here. They all have some sort of ultimate ability which defines them, and they are pretty simple to figure out. But there's a lot of depth and nuance to them which is explored in the game, but then mostly left out in the anime. So yeah, cramming so much game into such a short anime did not end well. But here's the thing. When I judge anime, I try to do so from the perspective of someone not familiar with the source material. When I watch a manga adaptation, I don't care how good the manga is or how much was changed. I just care if I like the anime. So putting everything aside I know about the game, is the anime still good on its own? Maybe not as good as the game, but it can still be a worthwhile anime in its own right. Though sadly, on its own the anime falls pretty flat. Let's look at where the show is trying to succeed and how it's trying to appeal to the viewer and see if that would work for someone who had never played the game. So the areas the show focuses on is the experiences of the characters, the murder mysteries, and the overall mysteries of the school. First of the is the characters, and well, here they are not fleshed out enough to really care about what they're going through. And when you do start to care about the character, that's typically because they're just murdered, or about to be murdered. So there's no time to appeal there. And then with the murder mysteries, I already explained how the game rushes through the investigations in the trial, so there is not much impact here. You'd miss out on that whole murder or mystery thriller thing. Though I will say the way that the anime handles the mystery of, of the school was a bit better, since these scenes are oftentimes less compressed. In fact, there are few of them where the show actually surpasses the game here. With the scene being fully animated, as opposed to being just a visual novel style, they feel richer. Though these scenes are less common till the end, so if that's the only thing you're watching for, you're going to slog through a lot of bad episodes. Though the anime does have a few other things going for it as well. The artistic style is really neat, and that lets the show stand out. The opening song is also very different. In fact, that was the reason I got interested in the series. Though I feel like the song better fits Stang Rampa 2 than this one, but still, great song. Very different. You don't hear too many English rap songs as an anime opening. The English dub is also really good, though I'll we'll talk about this a bit more later. Still, I don't feel like these would save the show for a newcomer to the franchise. And there's also the fact that as an anime, it ends incomplete. Dengarapa 1, both the anime and the game, leave a lot of questions only vaguely answered. 
These questions are explored more in the later games Danganronpa 2, along with Ultra Despair Girls. Then there's also the Danganronpa 3 anime, but that one assumes that you know the story of Danganronpa 2, so there's no way to get the full story with just the anime adaptations. So again, that brings down the anime in the whole series further, at least to an anime-only viewer. Though I think that's actually the key. Despite me judging the anime as a standalone work, I actually don't think that's how the show was intended. It feels like a show made for fans of the game who want to experience the story in a different way. As a fan of the game, you know all the mysteries, so the fact that the parts are glossed over isn't as bad, and that the anime is able to bring to life some of the key scenes far better than the game. There's one scene at the end of the second trial which gave me chills with how strong it was, or just the scenes of the characters fully feeling the weight of what would, had happened to them. Yes, things were in the game as well, but they felt stronger here. And this is in part because of the amazing English dub, where every actor captured the characters. Which is really impressive considering most of the cast was different than the game, but for the most part, they were close enough that the difference didn't really matter. Though there is an exception with Monokuma. He is the evil bear that is basically running their whole killing game. And his voice between the game and anime are completely different. Greg Ayres plays him in the anime, and Brian Beacock plays him in the game, and they do not sound alike at all. But the anime made it work by having Greg Ayers make Monokuma his own character. The way they did this was they gave Monokuma a lot more personality and nonchalantness with how he was saying a lot of lines, which made him almost feel like a different character, but still worked because they reflect the twisted and fun-loving character that is Monokuma. It actually reminds me of the Ghost Stories dub, where they threw out the script that they had and just had the voice actors do whatever they wanted, but in this case, only for Monokuma. So, Greg Ayers created his version of Monokuma, which is different, but still fits the character Monokuma perfectly, and I appreciate a different take on the character. So, in conclusion, as a standalone anime, this really is not worth your time. But if you like the game and want to experience the story again, I think you could have a lot of fun here. I definitely enjoyed it, and if you are interested in the franchise as a whole, definitely start with the game and then come back to the anime if you feel like it later. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll definitely be doing more reviews as I get further into the series, so look forward to that. Also, check out my gaming channel where I've done a Let's Play of the first two Danganronpa games, along with Ultra Despair Girls, and I'll probably be doing more soon. Anyway, thank you once again for watching, and I will talk to you next time.